Hello and welcome to Bees on Main, a Broodminder's global production facility in beautiful downtown Stoughton. I'm Rich Morris, lead drone here, and I wanted to talk today about the DIY components that we sell. So uh, we've been really busy uh, working on the cell and the Wi-Fi updates. Uh, the new devices uh, we are hoping to have at EAS uh, in beta form for people to see and try. And uh, in the meantime, we also have a lot of things going on that appeal to some of our constituents, uh, somewhat like ourselves, who you know, really think they have a better idea and want to do something themselves. But like most people, we don't want to do everything because to build these, you need uh, both you need the hardware, you need uh, woodenware, you need uh, software to tie all this together and then you want to share it with your friends so you uh, really want a, a web uh, browser and all those sorts of things. So we decided about six months ago that we would go ahead and offer our components for people to use and integrate into their own ideas. So uh, if you look on broodminder.com you'll find uh, the DIY components and I just want to show you a few things about that. So at the heart of it is our circuit board I'll hold it here and our circuit board uh, has a uh, the processor it's got all the firmware built into it and it has inputs for four weight sensors uh, load cells they're called and uh, a little chip that reads that and it's all you know taken care of so that as the battery voltage change the results don't change and it's got a temperature sensor now those load cell inputs you can actually put anything you want into it. Uh, so we've included in our documentation, you know, what the chip is and how to do some of those things. So we offer that board uh, for you to take and integrate into your own uh, design. The nice thing is that it goes up into a special port, uh, portion of our app and mybroodminder.com. That's uh, a, a BRM58, we call it, a DIY kit. And then, as time in the fullness of time as a friend of mine says uh, we'll be able to split that off and scale those things differently so if you want to add uh, any kind of sensor going into it you can um, so that's one component uh, we also sell our load cells that we use regularly and these load cells we've found we we buy them by the thousands in china so you know we make a little markup we, we try not to make too much um, mostly to make it convenient for you to use. So these are also the ones we use in our W3 kit. And if you have looked at our other things, the W3 kit it includes feet and some other things in the box and all. But if you want to incorporate your own ideas, uh, then you can do that. Another device we sell on our DIY is the big load cell. So this load cell uh, supports 200 kilograms and I'll put a little video here uh, we'll, of how you can implement it. We In our manual we put several different designs that uh, Theo and Lorenzo have come up with. So it will hold 200 kilograms. It can make the whole device a little bit shaky when you've got a, like a 300 pound hive on it but it does quite well. And Lorenzo has also done uh, ones where you put two of them, and since our board supports you know up to four inputs, uh, you can put two, one at the front and one at the back. And the make, that makes the hive really stable and uh, allows you to use it like that. Uh, some other things, you know, uh, we've made uh, a little adapter for the load cells mostly to make it easy to uh, assemble in the W3 kit. And we have that, uh, that 3D model on our uh, website so that you can, you can get that and you might want to modify it to your own design or something like that, but it's a good place to start. Now, the other thing is you'll want to put this in some kind of waterproof, weatherproof enclosure. That'll vary a lot depending on, on where you are and how you do it. If you can put it inside a hive box, that's great. Um, without bees, it's even better. But uh, you know, you can do anything from you know using a Ziploc bag uh, to 
you know, if you go to digikey.com or mouser.com, M-O-U-S-E-R, um, they have lots of boxes, lots of parts. Uh, we particularly like the ones made by Hammond Manufacturing in Canada, uh, but also bud boxes. Uh, you can get them with transparent covers, you know, if you want it to be a little bit sexy or uh, other covers. Um, there's also cheaper ones we use uh, for our sub hubs and uh, Wi-Fi boxes, which aren't weatherproof, uh, made by Serpac, S-E-R-P-A-C. And also, uh, you know, you can go and flambeau, you know, makes these little uh, bait boxes, um, you know, and they're waterproof. And there's nothing wrong with them either if you just keep it dry. Uh, the last thing I'll share uh, is, you know, for our cell units, we have, you know, the solar panel and a bigger box. And we really like the, uh, the components made by Voltaic, V-O-L-T-A-I-C. Uh, they've uh, supplied us with a lot of solar panels. They are very much into the Internet of Things and uh, DIY sorts of things. We use a, a, I think it's called a V, which, what's it, it just upgraded it, a v, V25 um, for our cellular. And you have to be careful with power usage, and it's a little bit complicated to figure that out, but you can do that, or if you just, you know, want a bigger one, you can get uh, bigger solar panels and, and power about anything you want out there. So that's just uh, some of the stuff that we offer up uh, we, you know, want people out there doing these measurements, playing with these devices, really learning and posting this data to uh, the web to share with other people. Once you get it up to um, mybroodminder.com, then you can share it with becounted.org and, you know, share it with your friends and all those sorts of things. So if you have any special requirements or cases or have some questions, you know, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, Mike's always there at support at broodminder.com and he can connect you with me or Rich Hogel or Theo or Amanda or whoever to help solve the problem um, because, you know, we just want to, like I said, have all this out there and working and remember every hive counts. Okay, so I got one other thing is here's a little example of a DIY. Uh, this is sort of based on what uh, what Lorenzo did, but you can see here, maybe I'll show it here, um, here is that big load cell, and it's supported on each end, here and here, and then you can put your hive on top. Uh, this is a pretty simple, simple one that requires a couple of plates, and instructions for this are in our manual. So, once again, Every hive counts.